We're talking about the original Star Trek Enterprise from 2001, I think. Anyways, the cast talks about the series finale and how uh, how it was unfulfilling. And you know what? They're right. Because it wasn't... Remember, Star Trek Enterprise season finale wasn't actually supposed to be the series finale. They It was... If, if it felt shoehorned, it's because it was. And if you're ever binge-watching Star Trek Enterprise, then you would know that as you're watching, it all feels like the momentum is building to the right place, and then all of a sudden, there's an episode with Riker, and you're like, oh, that's the last episode? Mm. It ends so abruptly, because I don't think that... Uh, uh, what's his name? Ugh, I'm forgetting the guy's name right now. The creator. I don't think he was. I don't think he knew. Brother. Yes, I don't think he knew until it was too late to change course that that was the last uh, se- season. I think they quickly changed their writing up and they made an episode that would wrap up, that wrap the series up. But I don't think they planned for that to be the last season. So yeah, I think you're 100 percent right. The, the, basically, the story here is that the members of the cast got together for the Star Trek uh, 55 year mission convention in Las Vegas, the one that we attended. Yeah, we were there. What's funny is we actually talked to Anthony Montgomery um, a little bit because of course we share the same last name, but we don't look anything alike. And we kind of made a joke about that and he laughed with us. So was oh, I, 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 were you there when I went back to his, oh, you were there. When uh, Shane was hanging out with the Salty and Nerd guys, I went, I, I went by Anthony Montgomery's booth and I was like, I was like, Hey, we got the same last name. And he was like, he goes, Oh, we're probably related. And I'm like, you know what? You look a lot like my uncle on my mom's side. And he's like, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> <'Cause we're, laughs> it was really funny. Uh, like this, the whole dialogue between us was really, he's a warm guy, very warm gen- gentleman. That's fantastic. Yeah. He, he was very nice. Actually, they were all great. And I guess what happened was, is they, they had a panel and uh, a lot of them got up there and started talking about uh, they want to talk a little about enterprise and it was very open, I guess. Um, the panel uh, covered what the actors were up to their favorite pandemic reads and uh, streaming binges and other light banter. Uh, but there was also some pointed discussion about their time um, on board the enterprise, especially about how it all ended and where it could have gone. Um, a lot of, some of the people said that they thought um, you know, Dominic Keating suggested that the writers only planned about three or four episodes ahead. But uh, Anthony Montgomery said he heard that Manny Cotto, who joined the series in season three and was elevated to showrunner for season four, had some thoughts. The goal actually for Manny was that he was going to take them back to the mirror universe because they had had a lot of fun doing that. So the next season would have probably included something of that. Uh, John Billingsley said that uh, he had heard, though, that they had some plans and uh, that did include going back to the mirror, mirror universe. Uh, he said he didn't think there was anybody in the upper echelon uh, that entertained any realistic notion that they were actually coming back. So he's not sure how fleshed out those plans were. Interesting. Yeah. He also goes on to say that, because he, of course, was Dr. Phlox. Uh, he said the goal for Dr. Phlox would have been he wanted to have some sex. So anytime. I yeah, by the way, it. that was my goal for Dr. Flox too, because <laughs> do you remember that episode where it shows him scraping his 12 inch tongue? Yes. Yes, I do. remember. I was that. like, you, there, someone needs to make uh, a uh, not Star Trek parody of uh, Dr. <laughs> Flox. <laughs> yeah, that would. Yeah. A not Star Trek parody. I like how you said that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Anthony Montgomery said he was desperate for anything. At one point, the actor said, uh, did you see Travis? Uh, I can only do this so much. If there had been another season, he just wanted to explore Travis. So he wanted to explore his character. He wanted to learn more about him. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I think it's interesting that they had this kind of this conversation. They went through all these different things. They actually talked about what they think their mirror versions thought and things like that. Um, it's actually pretty pretty exciting we did not get scott bacula at the um at the thing he, i guess he doesn't have, have you ever heard of him coming to these nope i have never seen it I've, I've now been to three of them i've never seen scott bacula's name on any of the material i like how anthony montgomery um kind of came to he said i love jonathan frakes and marina Sirtis, 
They are wonderful people, but Scott Bakula is my captain, Captain Archer. Good. Brand. I would not have had them come on because they, I guess they were going to come on and possibly be on the show. Uh, Riker and, and uh, Troy. Wait, how? Yeah, Enterprise ended its final season with the episodes These Are the Voyages, which did double duty uh, as a coda to the entire Berman era Star Trek and began with Star Trek The Next Generation in 1987, right? Right. In doing so, the finale included elements of TNG, including an Enterprise D holodeck and the characters of Riker and Troy. When asked about this finale, my Anthony Montgomery talked about you know, the fact that, uh, you know, Scott Bakula was his guy. Yeah, I just find, how could the show have even introduced them at all past that finale? I mean, look, the fin the finale was actually very clever. It was very clever the way they did that. You right. know, it was actually the last time before Picard we actually saw the characters of Riker and, and Troy, right? Right. Um, It was a nice little nod to the whole series and you know the whole thing the whole you know from tng to now and how they sort of wrapped it up and i think it was clever the way they used the holodeck and they put some new characters in there but it does feel as if it feels rushed it felt rushed for sure and it felt like instead of leaning on the characters that we were watching for four seasons or five seasons um it it you know Riker and troy sort of stole the show Right, that's true. And it was almost from like their perspective. Let me just let me wrap the story up for you instead of actually letting it letting like the story wrap itself itself up with the characters that we were that we loved. True. <clears throat> so it was yeah. definitely I don't I really believe that they just didn't know that the series was going to end then, and they had to rush out a nice series finale that would wrap up Braga's entire uh, career with Star Trek. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, I wish we could have had more, but, you know, it's still entertaining to go back and watch the old show. I would love to know more about the Zindi. That sucks that that never, that ended. The whole idea of four separate species evolving on the same planet is fascinating. <laughs> that is true. That was never brought up in Star Trek. Why is it always one dominant species? Mm. Why, why couldn't, why couldn't. A reptilian, insectoid, an avian, a mem you know, an aquatic species all evolve on the same planet. I don't know. I guess because uh, humanity is the main element for Earth and they just kind of went with it for, for every place. Right. But but that's what made the Zindi so fascinating was because that had not been done at all in Star Trek. Like this was a brand new thing. Unless you include the half white face, half black face guys. Which obviously were the same species with different markings, right? Right. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on from uh, Star Trek Enterprise. Let us know what you guys think about this. Um, yeah, could it have ended better? Should there have been a uh, another season of Enterprise? You know. And what do you think about Scott Bakula completely skipping every convention because uh, he's a working? Got other stuff to do. Yeah, that's what it is. He's, <laughs> he's waiting working. for a truck reunion. Ah. Oh. That's Thanks for watching. To see the full conversation, become a member of the podcast family. Use the link in the description below or go to our channel and click the join button. Select your tier and we'll see you at the next show.